Okay, here's another end frame Smith & Wesson for you. This is the model 27-2. And it's, like I said, it's built on the end frame. 357 Magnum. And essentially this is the same gun as you've seen in the Dirty Harry movies except for the caliber. The ones in the Dirty Harry movies were uh, model 29. And essentially exactly the same gun except for the caliber. Looks like I better go straighten out my targets before I start. Okay, now I'll give it a try here. Pretty decent shooting gun. This one was made in the late 70s. Let's we'll see if I can get a side view of it being shot. The gun's big enough that uh, 357 Magnum does not have that much recoil in this gun. Okay, well, let's see if I can get a few rounds double action on camera. I don't remember exactly what year this gun was made. I'd have to go look it up. Uh, I think it was, uh, I'm pretty sure it was late 70s. Like uh, 77 or 78. But anyway, as I said before, it's a model uh, Smith & Wesson 27-2. And it's in real nice shape for its age. Build on the end frame, the same as the Dirty Harry Smith & Wesson Model 29 44 Magnum. Exactly the same gun except for the caliber. It's 350, this one's 357 Magnum instead of, uh, instead of 44 Magnum. And anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick look at it before I got it put away. This is one of them that came in the nice little wooden display case. When you can get the display case to hold together like it's supposed to. <laughs> and has the original uh, little screwdriver and cleaning kit still with it. But anyway, I want to do an end of video shout out. And this one is for Firearms Pop. And I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. If you get a little free time, go check out his channel. Thanks for watching.